right, welcome back everybody. Um, I am going to crack on with step six, uh, just so that we make sure that we get all ten steps done for you today. Um, and then there will be the uh, playlist of films for you to sort of step along to and there'll be a notation. So really, this is about getting all the steps taught to you um, and then hopefully take them away at practice. And my one word of wisdom about practice is get up and dance it tomorrow because the, if you practice a routine the day after you've learnt it or straight away after you've learnt it, you're more likely to retain it. If you wait till next week, it'll disappear as quickly as it's arrived. So if you've got time tomorrow, get your clogs out and practice. Um, and that's probably as much for me. <laughs> I've not been doing enough practice lately. It's showing as well, sadly. Okay, so, um, step six. This is the one that is very different for beginners and intermediates. So, it's called steps, and that will become obvious why with the, the beginner's routine. Um, and then I've put in brackets after, shuffle, hop, shuffle, for the intermediates. <laughs> steps doesn't do it for the intermediates. So, have you all jigged around a bit and got our muscles back warm again? Especially if you've been sat down, well, sat down or outside, very cold here in Sheffield. Um, so, it's starting off a right foot for this one. It's going to be step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, step. Hence, it's called steps. And that is your repeat the whole way through. So, starting left. So, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, shuffle. Step, 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 right foot, one and a, two and a, three and four, one and a, two and a, three and four, one and a, two and a, three and four. Sorry, I'm just checking my timing on that. A four, sorry. We're going to just dot that a little bit more on that four. So one and a two and a three, a four. One and a two and a three, a four. So it comes on the at instead of the and, so it's not quite as flat as I was doing it. You're going to do six times through that, and then you're going to do a Bob's Your Uncle uh, finish on the end. So that was the step. Shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, tap across, step, tap across. That's a really common uh, finish. Um, in Lancashire we call them finishes. Most of the traditions call them breaks, um, a break on the end of the step. But Sam Sherry was always very insistent that a break was a break in the rhythm part way through the step and you finished the step with the finish. So that's how I always say it. Okay, so let's try that whole step. I think that's, is that okay? Is that, is that enough explanation for you? And we can go with that with music because it's not a difficult step. I think I've got all the difficult steps in the first half for this. So we'll do this and then I'll teach you an intermediate one as well. Starting right foot. When you get to your finish, one, a two, three, 
So remember to go back down to that. Let's try it once more with the music. right foot step shuffle hop shuffle step the lock shuffle let me just make sure i've got that right step shuffle hop shuffle step the lock shuffle that is your building block one and a two and a three a four and a so step shuffle hop shuffle hop, step the lock shuffle three four Then repeat up the left foot, three, four. Step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, hop, shuffle, oops, sorry. Step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, three, four. Step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, double up, shuffle. So it just keeps repeating six times. Shall we try, let's try a few together. Okay, right foot start, three, four. And then your finish is going to be two hopping double shuffles, step shuffle, hop shuffle, three shuffles, or rather two shuffles, step shuffle. So just that finish again off the right foot, step shuffle, hop shuffle, step shuffle, hop shuffle, step shuffle, step shuffle, step. Three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three. And pause on the four. Okay. Shall we try? Is that okay, intermediates? Fab. Uh, we'll try the intermediate version with music, please.
and then you're going to put a boss your uncle break finish on the end that step shuffle step step shuffle step tap across step tap across is that okay katie fabulous okay moving on to number seven grapevine so um i'm dancing with quite a small board so at the end of that step i would probably take my two two ways i might do this um because i'm going to do a grapevine i want to create some space so i would probably as i did my finish i'd just move to the right hand side of my board a bit um, so I've got the space to, enough space to do a grapevine. So the grapevine, you're going to, this is the beginner version. The intermediate version, you're following exactly the same, but you're putting tap steps in throughout your grapevine rather than just a step. So the grapevine itself is going to be step left, cross buckle step right, step left, alongside yourself, step right behind and step to the side. So you've got one, two, three, four. She says hoping that she's got that right. Yep, so you've just got those four steps. So you're basically stepping across in front, to the side, behind, to the side. So, and it is literally just that one, two, three, four in timing. Left, two, three, four. Then you're going to step your left foot again beside yourself. And you're going to do a step straight shuffle, hop toe behind, hop heel. Okay, so that brings in the very the straight shuffle. It's not a round one, just straight back. Okay, let's just try that little bit. Step, straight shuffle, hop toe, hop heel. Three, four. Step, shuffle, hop toe, hop heel. Okay, then we're going to take it back. So we're going to do step, cross, step behind and again stepping back beside yourself with your right foot step shuffle hop toe hop heel then you get your b repeated step shuffle hop toe hop heel and i've doing that i've moved myself back to the center of my board and repeat right And then the finish, straight shuffles again. So you're going to do two, the same timing as in previous finishes, where we've got one, a two, a three, a four. One, a two, a three, a four. But you're going to do hot toe, hot heel, hot toe. So you finish with your toe there and hopefully the next step starts on the right and it does yay good so let's try and walk that through again um some people find it grapevines are a bit of a toe twister okay three four step left across left behind step shuffle up toe up heel right across right behind Right, shuffle, hop, toe, hop, heel, bees. Step, shuffle, hop, toe, hop, heel. Step, shuffle, hop, toe, hop, heel. Finish. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, hop, toe, hop, heel, hop, toe. Does that make sense to everybody? Excellent. So, intermediates. You're going to start exactly the same with the step. But... Apart from your initial step, in your grapevine bit, you're going to tap. So, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step. Step, shuffle, hop, toe, hop, heel. Step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step. Step, shuffle, hop, toe, hop, heel. On to your billies. And 
And the same finish. Is that okay? It's, only, it's a very subtle difference there. It's just adding those extra beats in. And you find a lot of the time as you, as you start breaking the steps down and as you're progressing club dancing, you just find that it is actually the more advanced steps, they just fill in more of the beats. So you get these extra taps coming in everywhere. So let's do that to some music, please. Yeah, be, ca be careful in this one because you are moving. Don't try not to fall off your board. It's very easy to fall off the edge of board and the boards in grapevine figures. So just be aware of that. that. I've got the advantage here because I can see my feet, so I can see when I'm, I'm due to fall off the board. <laughs> up to date or else I'll be teaching you the wrong steps. <laughs> oh, damn it, we're on to eight. Now, Pauline, you will recognise this step. You'll recognise the makeup of it because you've done it in Sam Sherry's Hornpipe. If anybody else has done Sam Sherry's Hornpipe, I'm guessing if some of you might have done, then this is step eight of his Hornpipe. But, slightly different. Um, that's where I got it from. Um, again, it's subtle difference. The, the main part of the step is the same for both beginners and intermediate. I just snuck an extra shuffle in for intermediate. So it's straight shuffles again, um, and you're going across the buckle. Um, that means you're crossing, um, like when we've done the grapevine and when we do the Bob's Your Uncle finish, that tapping across is known as across the buckle because the old clogs used to have a buckle, the original clogs were buckled. In fact, I've got a pair. Little miniature one to show you. They had, um, ooh, where's the camera gone? They had a little buckle on them like that. So when you, da when you crossed over your feet, they called it dancing across the buckle. That's where the term comes from. There you go bit of history as well. Just throwing in. Um, so you're going to do step, shuffle, step, step. She says, what is she doing? Yes, of course I am. Step, shuffle, across, buckle. Step, shuffle, buckle. Okay, so your straight, it's a straight shuffle, but it's out on a diagonal this time. Uh, in Sam's original hornpipe, it's around, and then you go across the buckle. But I made it slightly easier here, because um, that's quite an awkward movement, that. So, step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle. Then we get the balance bit. Step, 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 step. So we're just balancing across the buckle there, uh, just transferring the weight. And then you get another step, shuffle across the buckle. Then you get the balance again. Step, step, 
step eight because that obviously has hops in it and this version doesn't it's the pattern of it that's that balancing that's where the, the sort of step came from so you've got two straight shuffles going across then you get a balance then you get a straight shuffle across a second balance and another shuffle across okay let's try and piece that together three four step shuffle Step, 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 shuffle, step, 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 balance, step, 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 shuffle, step, shuffle, step, 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 balance, step, 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 shuffle, step, shuffle, step, 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 step. Okay, is that all right, that pattern of it? Excellent. Then your finish is like a box your uncle, but you're going to take the shuffles across the buckle. Step, shuffle, step, step. Now you're going to reverse that shuffle to come back to a place. Shuffle, step, tap, step, tap. Okay, let's try that again. So it's a straight diagonal shuffle that you take across and then after your steps you retrace that pattern back to place okay three four step shuffle step step shuffle step tap step tap and do you know what we've done you know what i've cleverly done we've done that whole step off the wrong foot nobody noticed none of us we finished the last step with our toes tapped behind we can't possibly start this on the left foot <laughs> anyhow it's all good practice when i first learned from sam he taught us all every step off both feet because it's good practice especially as beginners get techniques off both feet so let's try it now off the right foot and see if we can still do it okay three Four, step, shuffle, step, 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 step. One, two, three. Balance. Shuffle. Balance. Shuffle. And the finish. Excellent. So intermediates. Your across buckle shuffles absolutely the same. What you are going to do is when you do your balances, you're actually going to uh, shuffle back. Step, 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 shuffle, step. So your step, starting off the right foot as I know now, your step is going to be step across. That's the same. Then balance. Bring a shuffle. And shuffle. Balance with a shuffle. Finish. It's the same. So it's when you come back from that, you're, where in the beginner's one, you've got one, three, one. You've got to fit that after that. You're fit, bringing that shuffle back. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Let's try it with some music then. We're on a beat here.
Do it once again, I'll do the intermediate version. If I'm going too fast for you, tell me to slow down, but you're all doing so brilliantly. I'm just going to carry on and plough through. So, haha, -ha, this might take a while. This is the harder one of the second half. Uh, swannies. I'm going to assume that not everybody has done swannies, because uh, I do know that we've got beginners in here, and you might not have done them as beginners. Um, Swanny is where you basically pivot on your ankle, um, on your heel. So if you, to start with, if you just step onto your heel, so not too far, you don't want to stick your foot out because then you'll overbalance yourself. You literally just put your heel down, step onto your heel where your toe is, so that it's alongside the toe of your foot. So if you were doing a swanny, it would be step, heel, step, step, heel, step. Now when you're comfortable with doing that, you want to then pivot on that, ankle, on that heel when you put it down. I'm gonna turn around and show that to you from the front as well. Because when I do a swanny, I, when I step onto my heel, I've moved my toe diagonally across in front of the other foot really. My heel's in the place but my toe's gone across so I get a complete sweep. So it'd be step, step. So it's feeling comfortable that you've got your weight on the heel and then being able to twist the heel as well. And that is a swanny. And that comes into lots of different traditions as well. Um, you get quite a few um, swanny walks, swanny sort of um, sideways walks. I'm not put one of those in here, but you get quite a few things like that. Okay. So, you're going to start out, this is an A, B, A, B, B, B structure. Um, and I think that is the same for the intermediate as well it is. You just get extra twiddles in yours again. So the beginner's version, you've got step, swanee, step, swanee, step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle. So your A, your A part is your swanees. So A is step, heel, step, step heel step and then your B part step shuffle step step shuffle that frees up then for you to do the A off the right three four step heel step step heel step and then your B off the right as well three four step shuffle step step shuffle then you're going to repeat. That is right, yes. You're going to repeat your B's of the left and the right. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle. Right foot, step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle. Okay, let's just try all those A's and B's together again. So your A is your swannies and your B's are your shuffles. Left foot start, three, four, three and four, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, one and two and three, four shuffles, one, repeat. 
repeat. Okay. Then your finish is going to be step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, pivot, step, step. So that again. Three, four. One, a two, a three, a four. One, a two, three. Just that little awkward bit at the end there. Step, swan knee, step. So one, a two, three. Then we just try that finish again. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle. One, a two, three. Once again, three, four. One, a two, a three, a four, one, a two, three. Is that okay with everybody? It's just a little, little cheeky swivel on there. Now, intermediates then. You're going to, on your swannies, you're going to put a shuffle in. So you're going to do your swanny, shuffle. Okay. Try that again. Three, four. Step, heel, step, shuffle. Step, heel, step, shuffle. So that's quite a common movement. And then you're going to do the shuffles as per the beginners. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, shuffle. Sneaking in another double shuffle there for you. So your timing will be one, two, three, four, and a. Okay, let's, let's do that. And it's the same build up that you've got A, B, A, B, B, B. Okay, left foot, three, four. Step, swan, knee, shuffle, step, swan, knee, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, shuffle, step, swan, knee, shuffle. shuffle, shuffle. intermediates. Yay, good. So you've, your finish is very similar to the beginners, but I've snuck double shuffles in for you. So the timing's actually, the timing is actually easier for you than it is for the beginners. Sorry about that. To the beginners, that is. So, step, double shuffle, step, double shuffle, step, swan knee, step, step. So, three, four. One, a two, and a three, a four, and a one, a two, a three. Okay. Any questions? Let's, try, let's go for that with some music then. Um, we'll do it twice through as we've done before. I'll do the beginner version first. I will try. Oh, 
get on. Was that okay? Excellent. Yay! Final step. Final step. Um, okay, intermediate. Yours is, in, yours is straightforward for you. You are doing hopping double shuffles all the way. Okay, so step shuffle, hop shuffle, step shuffle, hop shuffle. Excellent practice if you ever want to enter the Lancashire and Cheshire Club competitions, which will be reconvening next year, please. Um, yes, Jen, I expect to see you there. Um, <laughs> and so yours are hopping double shuffles all the way, and I will talk about hopping double shuffles because uh, having watched many of them over the years, uh, there's technique to doing them. But we'll come to that because the beginners are going to put hopping double shuffle in their finish as well. Because you can do it as a beginner, despite many experienced dancers telling them you shouldn't be able to. You can. Yours are, yours are, you're going to do a hop shuffle, but you're not going to do hopping double shuffles. The main part of this step is the same as Sam Sherry's step 10. So, Pauline, that puts you ahead of the other, the other ones in our little group. <laughs> okay. It's, it's off the right foot as well. Um, step, shuffle, step, step, hop, shuffle, one, two, three, hop, shuffle. Now, when you do a hop, shuffle, as you hop, you're wanting to prepare that foot to come down and shuffle in the right shape, keep the right shape. So, we're starting right foot, it's step, shuffle, step, step. We can all do that. So now when you hop, form your left foot ready to shuffle. Hop, shuffle. And we're going to repeat that six times. So try it off the right. No, I mean off the left, don't I? Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step. Hop, shuffle. Okay, let's do six of those starting off the right. Three, four. Step, shuffle. Step, step, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, hop, shuffle, step. And then we're going to do a Bob's Your Uncle finish. But we're going to put a hopping double shuffle into it. So we're going to do step shuffle, hop shuffle, step shuffle. Step. She says, it is. Yep. Let's just try that again then. That's hopping. So hopping double shuffles. This will be helpful for intermediates as well, I hope. Um, as with the hop shuffles, you need to have prepare your foot to do the shuffle, um, which means that when you've done the you've done the hop. So once you've done the shuffle, as you hop, you've got to re-prepare the foot to shuffle. Step shuffle, hop shuffle, to get the same shape both times. And also, you want to watch your timing of your doubles. Um, quite, I've seen quite a few people over the years where it, the second shuffle has felt snatched. The timing of hopping double shuffles, one and then two and then. So you want to, it's a skills test. The very last step of the championship, of the Lancashire and Cheshire championship routine, it's a mandatory step of hopping double shuffles and it's a traditional finish to the Lancashire Hornpipe competition because it's a skills test. Um, you, can, you can write your own steps, you can dance other people's steps. The only rule is that they have to be the heels off the ground um, and it has to be a Lancashire dotted hornpipe. Um, but the, everybody must do in the championship the hopping double shuffles. Then they've got to get a nice even. I'm out of practice. But you want to get them nice and even. One under, two under, three under, four under. But you've got to prepare to hop 
as well as reshape your foot. And what happens is when it feels that it's being uh, rushed, that second shuffle, invariably it's not that it's being rushed, the shuffle, it's feeling like it is because people have hopped late. They go up on the two and land just after the two. You've got to be going, hopping up on the upbeat to land on the two. One and that, two and that, three and that, four and that. So that's something, obviously, I do not expect you to even think about that so much today, but it's just something I've observed over the years of watching many, many people in the competitions and feeling that those second shuffles being snatched and it's a timing thing. I've noticed it in rapper teams as well. Um, <laughs> we, we jump to, we jump on the two rather than on the upbeat of the two. So it's something to um, just be aware of. So going back to that, taking all of that on board and it doesn't make any sense at all at this moment in time. Um, let's try that finish again. So we're doing step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, tap, step, tap. And we're starting off the right foot. Three, four. Step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, tap, step, tap. So, beginners, we're just going to do uh, the last two of your step, shuffle, step, step, you get that link into it because it's a bit of an attack on that finish to get that hopping double shuffle in. So just the last two of yours starting off the right. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step. Hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Finish, step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step. Okay, was that all right with everybody? Yep. So, intermediates now, we're going to do your last one. Um, let's make it your last four hopping double shuffles and then into the break. And that should be easier for you because you're already doing hopping double shuffles. So you're not quite as much of an attack on the finish. So starting right, three, four. One under, two under, three under. And finish. That's quite actually that's quite easy to sneak that on if you've got into that rhythm of your double shuffles. So should we try that last step to music? Please. Starting right foot. I'll do beginners, I'll do your version. Um, I can't see everybody speak, but I'm hoping that the intermediates will um, keep going on hopping double shuffles.
you've learnt the last half of the routine in less than an hour, which is excellent. Um, and shows how <laughs> a lot of routines get harder as they go through the tenth, towards the 10th step. So this one hasn't. So reminders on everything. Um, this is as much for me as it is for you. I'm going to talk through the beginners one first. Um, so the hops, the plain hops, step, shuffle, step, step, hop, step, shuffle, step, step, hop, step, shuffle, step, step, hop, reverse, hop, step, shuffle. And then we put them on the finish, um, step, shuffle, step, step, hop, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, and that was your reminder for your next, for, for step two. For the intermediates, your extra bit in that was when you do your hops, you're brushing out and catching back. And that's the only difference for you. Then we had shuffles. Step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle. I've snuck an extra shuffle in there, which you can put in or not, and it might be in the notation for all I know. Where is the finish of number one? And that's the first bit of the at the second step, but I'm sneaking in there occasionally, so it just happens. You can put that in if you want. I won't, I'll try not to do it today when we dance through it, um, but that's an option for you. And then the, in, the beginners, eight, eight shuffles, just step shuffles, turning round clockwise, Trying to, trying to pace it two per quarter, not to sort of stop, but just moving through each quarter with two, um, two shuffles. And the intermediates you're doing, hopping, double shuffles, all off the right foot, all the way around, just hopping shuffles. Um, and then we're back to the start. And then beginners, you've just got round shuffle, step shuffle, finish. Intermediates have got step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step. Okay. Click and flop. This is the one where I might get completely muddled up. Um, you've got the, for the beginners, step, shuffle, step, step, flip, feel. And then we went into the flop bit. And then it clicks again, and then I think, but I'm going to have to check, but I think this is where we sneak in the first, oh no it's not, it's not, we've got a click finish. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle. So, and the intermediates, you've got your hop, hopping thing. Sorry, not hopping double shuffle there. So you've got your back slices. Floppy bit, back slices again. And then your finish has got the hopping double shuffles in, I believe. Yep. Hopping double shuffles in the back slice. Okay, four was the heels. For beginners, straightforward, I think this starts off. Yeah, this one starts off the right foot. For beginners, step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. Um, six times through. And then the slower finish, step. Feel. Intermediates, you've got the, the crunch, the, the correctly timed uh, crunch. Step, shuffle, step, 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 step. Except I've done that completely off with my weight wrong for you. Step. I've missed a step out as well. This is step five that I'm doing. Let's four go. 
It's a good job you're not paying for this workshop, isn't it? <laughs> I think my, brain, my brain's dead. I've missed your double shuffles out, I'm sorry. I'll continue on the, um, the heels so that we get that, so I don't confuse the two actual steps. But let me put those there for now. So intermediate for the heels. Step, shuffle, step, 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 step. step. So it's a double, double length step for you. Uh, step, shuffle, step, 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 punch. And then repeat it three times and you're finished. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. So same finish, but you're off different feet at that time. So going back to step four then, that was step five. Step four is the double shuffles. Um, one, a two, a three, four. One, a two, a three, a four. So it was a nice slow double shuffle for beginners. Step, shuffle, shuffle, step. That was your A. Step, shuffle, step, 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 your B. So it's a a B structure, and then you box your uncle finish. For intermediates, one a two and a three a four and a one a two a three. One and a two and a three. Oh, put that one. Right. Step shuffle shuffle step shuffle shuffle. So your A, step and double, step and double. And your B, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, hop, shuffle. Okay, and then your finish, you've got the bobster uncle again with double shuffles. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three. So that was heels. Double shuffle is number four, heels is number five. Then you've got your steps, you're into your, your afternoon ones. So step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, step. That's the beginner's version. And it's a plain bob shuffle finish. Intermediate, you had your um, double step shuffle, hop shuffle, step for lot shuffle, and you had you had your hop shuffle finish. Then we're into the grapevine. And then we've got the across the buckle with the balance in. Intermediates get your extra shuffle on that balance. Okay, then we've got the swanny. Is that the swanny? Is that the right foot swanny? <laughs> Sorry about this, my brains. Yep. Step nine, step nine, where have you gone? I don't normally teach with bits of paper in front of me, and it's really confusing me, but having the two routines together, I've had to do it, which I don't like, really. Yes, that was right for the beginners. Beginner swally, step swally, step swally, step shuffle, step, step shuffle. So your swallies are your A, step shuffle, step, step shuffle is your B. For the intermediates, you're going to put that shuffle into your swally. And then you get the shuffles again as your B, but with a double on the end of it. Okay? And you both have the swally pivot 
finish on those. Um, and then we're into the hopping double shuffles or the step shuffle hop, step step hop shuffle. And if we get through the whole routine, I'll be absolutely amazed. I'd, I apologise now, I'll probably collapse halfway through both versions, but we'll go for it, we'll go for it. What else have we got to do on a lovely cold afternoon, Sunday afternoon? Nothing. So I'll just make sure that I've got all of its paper in the right place. Beginner version to start then. But intermediates, don't forget to put your extra twiddles in. Right. We will try and keep it at a steady pace. If I, if, if I miss a step or anything, you just carry on and I'll pick it up. Whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> Amazing.
we'll get to go through it again. We've got time to do that. Any questions, any comments? Hiya. Um, I just can't do step three. Can you do it? a couple of demonstrations of it for the beginners one? Three, I can indeed. With yes. the clicks and flops. It's the flops that are the problem, not the clicks. Yes. Um, you... So, flops, just to go back over what the flop is, the flop is literally, it's, it's as if you're going to brush your foot out. Um, I'll probably better show you side It's as if you're going to brush your foot out but you stop straight away. So you actually, you're not going to let the brush go anywhere. You're just going to step straight down on it. Um, when I first learned flops from Sam Sherry, what he told us to do, which I don't think any of us actually did, was run down the street like So that you literally, you, you step straight onto it. It's it's not going anywhere. It's as if you've got some, as if you've got some bubble gum on the bottom of your shoe or something, and it gets snapped back in. So that's your flop. It is a technique. It is worth learning. It's worth getting to grips with what a flop is, what a lazy shuffle is, and what the the subtle differences are between them. Um, so the step itself, you've got step. It's this next bit. Step, shuffle, step, step, block, block, shuffle, step, step, block. Let's try that bit again. Three, four. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, block, block. Then we go back into the, the clicks. Step, shuffle, step, step, heel. Then you've got your finish with the heel click as well. Okay, so let's just look, let's just do that flop bit a couple more times for you. Left foot, so step, shuffle, step, step. For lot, for lot, shuffle, step, step, for lot. It's absolutely brilliant word, isn't it? For lot. It says, it sounds like it, it is. Okay, left foot, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, for lot, for lot, shuffle, step, step, for lot. And once more for luck, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step. Let's try that whole step three to music, please. my brain into intermediate mode then. I will try and get your routine right for you. Um, you don't have to sit back down Pauline, you can dance the beginner one along with us. <laughs> oh what a taskmaster eh? <laughs> You're forgiven, if you want to rest you deserve one Pauline, you can sit down. <laughs> Okay, um, I want them in the right order. I'm just going to 
going to go for it and hope, we, hope I don't completely collapse in it. And if I do, I apologise. <laughs> Let's go for it. Oh dear. That are different they like just keeping them in one's yeah. head is impossible yeah can you go through step five again please step five heels yes mm -hmm. this is where your crunch comes in mm -hmm. um, i'm just going to double check which foot it starts on i've got a bit good at doing the wrong foot today left 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 
standard step, shuffle, step, 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 step. And then you're going to do a crunch leading with the right foot. And then step, shuffle, step. So standard step, shuffle, step, 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 step. Right foot left, the lead crunch. And you want to make it a Z crunch. So it's right toe, left toe, right heel, left heel. Transfer that mentally, your weight onto your left foot at that point, and then you get a step, shuffle, step. So step, shuffle, step, 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 crunch, step, shuffle, step. And off the right, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, 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 step your heel, step, shuffle, step, left. Three, four, step, shuffle, step, 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 crunch, right, and then you'll finish, step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. So straightforward finish on the end of that. Do you want to just dance that one to music? I don't have number four, is it? Yes, it's number five, it's an air, sorry.
wait for it. Oh, yeah, I've also got some. Okay, get to the right page. Here we go, final time through. Facebook. I don't go on there that often, but I do check messages. I use it more for networking than anything now.